Vogue is presenting the Met Gun Live. I don't know, this should explain how tired my brain is. And we have a package. Thank you so much, Chewy, for sponsoring this video. Just kidding. But I got some stuff for Penny Print. More cat food, more litter. Cat food, litter. Hello, welcome back. It is now the end of the day, or end of the work day. Just finished work. I'm so tired. My wrist hurts really bad. Vogue is presenting the Met Gun Live. I don't know, this should explain how tired my brain is. Um, and I just did so many blinks, I don't know why. Anyway, I would love to watch that. That starts at 5.30. Basically, I still haven't finished my meal prepping, which obviously I need to go to the grocery store, and I feel like I just need a good mental break. So I think what I'm gonna do, honestly, is just do work on my meal prepping now, editing, Start watching the Met because here's the thing I could start watching it and not get that into it And as much as I didn't want to order out food today I think I am going to just order some sweet green like I love sweet green I know it would taste so good and I'll just get my groceries so I can start fresh off tomorrow And I have groceries for Tuesday through Friday Saturday as well I just don't I don't, don't like to fully plan to have groceries for the weekend Especially with Joe coming back until he comes back because I would also hate to get a bunch of groceries And maybe we budget to go out to eat or pick up food or different things like that and then I waste all my food. That's update, kind of unnecessary, and we will go from there. Obviously, a little update. I end up enjoying the Met Gala so much. I feel like honestly, it's just what I needed. I know it sounds funny saying the Met Gala is just what I needed for my mental, but it was so relaxing in a weird way, and it was so great to be able to see all of the outfits this year and to see everyone. And honestly, the same thing I said to Joe. It's so weird knowing that they're literally across the street. Here's me. Here's the Met. Like what? Anyway, that like made it so weird because I just felt like, holy, I'm in the city. Also, craziest thing. So Timothy Chalamet had on his story a lie, and I decided to hop on. At first, he was like in a gallery, and then he ended up walking down the street, right? And all of a sudden, you see at the top it says 76th Street. And I literally called Joe, and I'm like, we live on 73rd. Timothy Chalamet is living on 76. Like. Should I go run outside and try to see if I'm the street? I literally threw on an outfit, start walking down, and Joe's watching as well. And then he was like, he's like, shit, that's on the east side. Which again, now that I think about it, makes complete and total sense because the Met Gala's on the east side. But I'm like, that was so crazy. Again, it was such a weird feeling knowing that you could like literally run into your favorite celebrity or whoever. So that was so weird. Anyway, didn't end up going to the grocery store because again, I enjoyed it. It went till nine o'clock and of course Trader Joe's closed right at nine. And then I'm doing some editing, which was perfect. And I got to finish episode six. So that was very nice. And overall, and again, I feel like this is my life. This is a reality. I wish I could be that perfect person that's like, yeah, I made this plan for the day. I checked everything off my list. I did I'm going to the grocery store. I did do this, did do that. But again, that would be a lie. This is reality. Didn't end up going to the grocery store. All I had was my sweet green for dinner. I didn't end up getting to finish my editing and finish my other stuff. I didn't get to do my Spanish today. So all you can do is give yourself a pat on the back for what you were able to accomplish. If some of the things were unnecessary. Yeah, tomorrow will be a much better day. Again, my plan right now is to get up in the morning and go to Trey Joe's right when they open at 8, like right before work. Get my stuff, come back. That's the plan, but we'll see. Yeah, that's still a nice way to like kind of reset and refresh. And I'm just gonna brush my teeth and kind of pet me.
back from the grocery store. I must say creating a meal plan and having a specific grocery list definitely helped me be more organized and shy away from just getting whatever it is that I wanted. And trust me, the only thing I did mess up on is going to the grocery store while you're hungry. Not go to the grocery store while you're hungry because there's still so much stuff that I just wanted to like pull off the shelf. But I didn't because I stuck to my list and I stuck to my meal plan. So I'm excited about that. I had a pretty productive morning. I mean, I guess I'll kind of like show what I got at the grocery store. Bag one, kale, arugula, spinach, some multi-grain bread, banana, chicken, salmon, cucumber, asparagus, yellow lentil pasta, carrot, kiwis, vegan cream cheese alternative, some protein bar and cliff bars, ooh, 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 ooh. and avocado so I can literally make my avocado toast now. Oh god. Bag two, grape tomato, almond butter granola, honey grain things. Okay. So I know that I am a sweet tooth and I love chocolate. So those are usually my cravings that I have. So like say I'm having a good day eating and then I'm like, I really want ice cream or I really want some chocolate or a cookie. So this is the only candy-ish snack that I got. Sometimes you have to satisfy your sweet tooth, but I think the control is being able not to satisfy it all the time. I got these, so it's like end of the day, something I'm like, I want some chocolate. I get one of these. One or maybe two, one or maybe two. And they're so Broccoli and cauliflower, chopped vegetable mix, celery, onion, and carrots, pepper, kiefer, kiefer, whatever. I have no idea how to say it, but I'm gonna start putting these in my smoothie. We have whole grain Dijon mustard, which I'm honestly excited to try. I don't know about anyone else, but obviously growing up, you have a lot of stuff. You have like Kraft mac and cheese, you have avocado salt, like you have things that you think are normal and really good for you, and then you get older and you realize like, oh shit, that mustard I like has a whole bunch of shit in it. Doesn't mean I still don't have it. So my point is it's kind of interesting seeing it like this. It just looks like so thick. It's like, where's the actual mustard? Like, where is the actual mustard? Like, what what is all this shit in here? So find out. Fresh squeezed orange juice. My favorite. I did not know they had it in a whole like size like this. Spicy cashew butter dressing. Organic non-fat plain yogurt. Some tuna. And one of my smoothies I'm gonna make is a watermelon cucumber smoothie. And they didn't have any frozen watermelon, so I'm gonna go old school and get an actual watermelon and chop that shit up myself. And last but not least, bag three. Cotton candy grape. My Whatever. We have strawberry, hemp seeds, organic breadcrumbs, baby avocados, rice cauliflower, frozen fruit. So I got berries, pineapple, apples, lemons, and oranges. Coconut water, lemon pepper, some garbanzo beans, some corn, mashed cauliflower, and the mango chips. That's it. That's all I got at the grocery store. Woohoo! Good job, Deisha. A little top two. I'm gonna put this bag away. I'm gonna get on with the day. Thank you. 
Thank you.